Hey, what's up? Nikki D here. Um, we're going to do a little label album work, uh, taste album work here today because I want to show you how to take these labels off. And I love doing this and I do it all the time. Um, so I thought a little demo would be fun. First step here, I've got a, a DRC RSV um, 08. Just removing any fingerprints from the bottle. to um, That just helps our label lifters stick on it really nicely. Next thing here, there's this little tab on the side. And so I'm going to um, take that off. And so this will be sticky and the other side is um, is not. And I'm going to use that non-sticky side just to line up, make sure that it's going to fit and get good coverage. And it is. So then we, uh, I'm going to just kind of look up here in the corner to get, uh, let's see, a little less than a quarter inch of space, closer to an eighth of an inch. And so I get this side adhered and then I go right across the front. And that gets most of the bubbles out, just any chance of large bubbles. And then I do, just with my thumb, adhering all the way across. And a special attention to this edge right here. And then just a little swift movement and it'll, it'll get that edge off. So it, it separates that back side of the paper. And then from there, I'm going to wiggle it at angles. So I'm going to do sort of like this, like zigzags almost. So like that, like that, like that. And that assures just a really smooth lift off. Okay, so it's perfect. We're not seeing any residual color or anything. And, and we're lucky that the DRC labels are, are generous um, as far as being able to, to be removed. And then looking directly top, top down, we're gonna do some trimming. So I've already got these looking pretty good, these edges. So now I'm just gonna trim the rest. And I've got this glossy side up and it'll catch this sticky and we can use that later. And then the same thing, just trimming this edge um, to catch that. So now we're all trimmed up. And I'm just gonna let this hang out right there for now. And we're gonna get that other that other side of the label, the back label off. So the same process starting with the, the top corner. Getting about you know a couple millimeters of space. So I go left side, center, right side, and then kind of go all the way across. And then a swift little snap should take it off. And then I'm kind of using the weight of the bottle to just roll that label right off. Super clean, super easy. Comes off. Kind of adhere that, boom. So now we have that part. And finally, I'm gonna get the capsule. So it's got this beautiful Romane Saint Vivant capsule. And I can see there's a separation right here where there's no design. So that's where I'm going to do uh, two passes with my X-Acto. And this is one of those removable ones where I can snap off the blade um, for a fresh blade if I need to. So I'm just going to use that groove, go for a second pass, and then a third pass. And I can see it's lifted off. So nice and clean, and then it just kind of rolls off like that. Last step here, going to use this Alvin mat and my um, progressive, this is like a dish pan scraper, to get it nice and flat, nice and smooth. See, look at that beautiful Romaine Saint Vivant. First step here, going on the right side. And I've actually got my trash um, ready to go to catch any drops. So I'm gonna take that edge off. Looks nice and clean. I think I'm gonna keep this curve, but I do wanna clean up these edges just to make them look really nice. So there's that. And the final step here, I've got this leftover piece from the trim. I can just roll that on. So I'm gonna give it a curve and put it right in the middle and it'll just roll on. And then starting in the middle, I take out all the air. And now I'm in position to do a quick trim. So I'm going to trim the top, and I can just discard my trim right away. The sides. And then here is 
that final piece. So now we have all three pieces ready to go. And I am not ready to put these on any kind of frame or paper yet. So I'm just gonna let them hang out back on the glossy side of the original lifter as kind of a holding pattern. And I've got this, uh, some other labels here that we might do like a collage with. This is a 70 Latosh, or maybe I'll do the, the 72. I'm not sure which I wanna do in this particular collage. So I can just let them hang out like there and it'll be ready for the final version. So that's all for now and I'll catch you soon. See ya.